As the CEO of Unity, I've called you all here for one important reason, and that is we need to figure out how to make money. Money is very good, and currently we're not making enough of it. So start pitching ideas on what we can do to make more money as a company. We could add more features to the Unity game engine. That's a terrible idea, you're fired. We could raise the prices of the Unity Pro plan? Fired. We could- Fired. You didn't even let me finish. I predicted the idea would be bad. Wait, I've got an idea. Instead of changing things about our engine, why don't we steal, I mean tax, game developers who use the Unity engine? Every time somebody downloads a Unity game, that developer pays us. But sir, isn't that corrupt and will probably drive customers away? Yeah, but I'm the boss. And I can do what I want. I've got the perfect idea to make a game after. All I have to do is pick the right game engine. But there's so many to choose from. How will I know which one will fit my game best? On one hand, you've got Unreal, which is great for 3D games. But on the other hand, you've got Game Maker, which makes excellent 2D games. I think that the Unity game engine is the best choice, just because it can do it all. As the saying goes, Jack of all trades, master of all of them. I can't wait to use this amazing game engine. A few moments later. I swear, if I get one more object reference not set to an instance of an object error, I'm going to break my computer. Well, I'm a man of my word. Unity used to be the game engine for the people, one that would allow creativity on all types of games, not just 3D. New users would consume Bracky's content faster than hotcakes at McDonald's, but Bracky's hasn't uploaded in years, and Unity is now on course to hit an imperial age, an era filled with asset store flips, corporate greed, and corruption of the Unity brand as a whole. Brand new Unity users will have the pleasure of stumbling through different third-party softwares and different plugins that actually give you the full Unity experience. You may be wondering why these features aren't actually implemented in the Unity game engine, and for that I have one answer. Why should Unity improve as a company and make itself better when they can make money in much, much easier ways? Unity decided that the best way to make money in today's ever-competitive game engine market is to tax their very own creators. I'm no genius, but if I made a delicious cheeseburger by using a spatula and sold that burger to people, the spatula company should not get a percentage of my profit. So now newer creators can keep in mind that even if their game does really good, they will always have Unity looming over them waiting to take their money. Overall, the general consensus is that Unity needs to do better, for the newer generation of game developers and for ones who are just trying to get by right now. It's up to the devs to see if they can actually listen to the public and make a change for the better. This could spell disaster. Somebody needs to stop him. Our sales could plummet. But sir, don't you think he's saying this with good reason? I mean, if we're the ones causing the problem, shouldn't we try to fix things and make it better? That's it. I'm firing everybody. Nobody here is smart enough to understand that we need money. I need money. I don't care if this game engine fails. I need my money now. One way or another, we will stop this YouTuber from speaking out against the company, and we will finally make the money that we deserve to be making.